Jackson is looking to take another step forward in police reform. But the local NAACP says one of the department's recommended changes doesn't go far enough. 7 News reporter Justin Hinton with what the county board will be discussing in the days ahead and how you can weigh in. A number of reforms are in the works for the Arlington County Police Department, including the creation of a civilian review board and independent policing auditor. Shut it, down. it stems from the police murder of George Floyd and the ensuing protests, causing county leaders to look at their own police department and in turn create a police practices group. But for Arlington's NAACP president, the draft ordinance outlining the duties of the civilian review board don't go far enough. If we don't get it right now, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a watered down piece of water and it's, that's going to be very ineffective. His biggest concern, as written, the decisions are not binding and the board shall provide its recommendation to the police chief for consideration and possible implementation in the police chief's discretion. County board member Christian Dorsey addressed it during a meeting in May. And I just do not find it tenable to change the terms and conditions of employment through a police practices group in advance of starting collective bargaining. He also said it would be similar to asking the county manager to change his mind about his recommendation. If we short circuit, direct the manager to alter his recommendation to uh, fit with the uh, views of some that discredits the opportunity, to discuss it with all. And it also undermines the capability of professional people to provide us with their best advice. Julia Spain, however, sees it differently. We don't hate our police, right? But we want to put mechanisms in place, checks and balances, ways that we can hold people accountable. And uh, the way the ordinance is written right now uh, kind of falls short of that. Discussion is ongoing, though a hearing is slated for Saturday. Residents can start signing up to speak on the issue Monday. In Arlington, Justin Hinton, 7 News.